The Reverend Joseph Lowry, a retired United Methodist who marched with a minister who marched with the late Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. It's so romantic, as he says. In a forum on the American scriptures, Cheryl Townsend Gilkey says this, for black people in the United States, scripture in the form of the King James Version, she calls it the King Jimmy. Um, I, I'm, I'm a little bit uncomfortable saying that, not because she says it, but I just, I don't have the authenticity to, to word it the way she did, so. Um, see, she says the, the scripture in the form of the King James Version became a central element in their cultural and spiritual toolkits. That toolkit helped to form and sustain prophetic and apocalyptic uh, worldview, and that worldview mined the King James Version to outfit oral and literary traditions that promoted survival, affirmed personhood, constituted culture, and imagined community. For African American Christians, the Bible was, and to some extent still is, central to the quest for miracles. The questions of theodicy, why, Lord, and the presence of God in a world of multifaceted oppression. She, uh, in another area, part of her, um, of her remarks in this forum, she says, these scriptures are a shared language that enables a diverse African-American population to remember, retell, and relive these stories of survival and liberation. Because these American scriptures are shared beyond the boundaries of African-American experience, biblical language and imagination make it possible for black people, through their stories of survival and perseverance, to invite the stranger to share in the, to invite the stranger to share in the story, something that ethicist Walter Fluker argues is necessary for what black Christians emphasize as religion, um, as the healing of the nations, excuse me for that error, as the healing of the nations. Now, the reality is that in many ways the King James Version has, um, has flourished in certain circles. And we'll talk, we've talked for a moment about the African American church where it's flourished. But even there, you see it in the comments of Reverend Lowry that, 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 that the, um, the translation, that the young people aren't necessarily uh, retaining and using the King James Version. They're moving on to other versions, but, but they're still part of the culture, part of the identity of African Americans that goes all the way back into, the, into um, uh, uh, pre-Civil War and early slavery days when the only time that they had any kind of self-authority and self-governance was in their churches, and the King James Version was the, was the, was the Bible that they, um, that they gathered around and learned from. And even though it was used by their white masters to oppress them, it was also used by them to find liberation and discover that the story of the Exodus was their story. But, but again, it's receding and, and, and in that community and in so many communities. And it seems that um, there's, there's understandable reasons why it would recede. It's, 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 um, it's accessibility. And I could go through, and I thought about doing this, finding the places in the King James Version that are really kind of difficult to understand. And there's not a few of them, but I felt like that would be somewhat disrespectful to the scriptures, to that, to that particular text. And it's pretty much a commonplace that that's the case. Where for so long the King James Version had shaped education and had been the foundation, this was the text that so many people had learned to read from when there was no other source for them to read from. Um, nowadays, in the secularization that has taken place in our education system and in our culture generally, and, and that's not a critical comment, just a, an objective observation, and in the, and the fact that education has shifted, um, the King James Version has, and, and its 12th grade plus reading level is, 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 is very remote to any kind of educational process. There's not the incentive to really learn the language, the, the availability, as we'll talk about in a minute, of multitudinous other translations takes away the need to have to learn the King James Version.